Brawl Talk is coming tomorrow, so there's no time to waste. Here's all the things that we have confirmed for this one update. There's six hypercharges coming, maybe more, but we have six confirmed. Those are Barley, Gale, Angelo, Ems, Piper, and Frank. And talking about Frank, he's getting a rework. We have no info of what the rework is actually going to do, but it's been confirmed by the devs, so it's going to be coming in this update in some way. Another rework that might or might not be announced in this update, but is confirmed, is Mech's rework, as we saw in the thumbs up for Brawl video. Uh, she's shooting double the projectiles and doing a bit less damage per projectile, which honestly I don't like if that's the only change that they're going to do because Meg already was way too easy to hit and this is just going to make it basically like Draco's attack when he's supering and if you make the attack too much of a cone the radical is going to look weird and it's going to make shooting around walls really annoying so if that's the only change for Meg I have no clue why they did it it was not like needed by any means I um, maybe they're just trying to experiment something but this one personally I hope it doesn't come to the game one of the three game modes that are rotating, so duels, volleyball, and basketball, is coming to the game, depending on the poll results. I hope it's duels again, and uh, hopefully it gets nerfed so we can actually play it properly. And also, a new skin is coming for Mr. P, which is called Dragon Fruit P, and for Amber, which is called Roller Skate and Amber. These are the winners from Super Sun Lake campaign. Getting into more specific things, two new brawlers are coming and the most likely pattern is one going into the Castle Courtyard trio with Ash and Grom and finally completing it and one creating its new trio but we might get one for the Buzz and Dog trio maybe also we get a second member for the Circus trio which right now is only comprised of Charlie so I'm hopefully expecting a Castle Courtyard trio and seeing that the video had a time machine on it and it's kind of back to the past, that would make sense. Another thing that we got in the video is that mega boxes are back. But I think this means specifically mega boxes are back, not boxes are back. So I don't know if they're gonna make them so that you can buy them in the shop as normal or they're gonna make an event kind of like the Omega Box event where the whole community gets like mega boxes at the end or something. I don't know for sure, and I don't think anybody can know for sure, so if you see people, it's just speculation. I, I didn't see why we had to remove all the boxes to have star drops. We will have boxes and star drops and just permanently there. But most likely this is just going to be an event or something only for this season, like we did with the mutations for the Godzilla season. Also from the video, we can see the silhouette of what is most likely the new brawler. This looks either like a really, really comically big paintbrush or like a mop. Either way, I don't see how this fits in any of the trios. So, you know, the Brawl Stars team did a good, good job here hiding as much information in this silhouette. So we don't really know what's going on. You can, you're welcome to put your theories. We are all as clueless as you are. So I can't really say anything for this. But for now, we can really only speculate and there's not much more than is confirmed other than that. So hopefully it's a good update. That's all I have to say. Bring boxes back in a proper way that is not going to make the entire community angry and have good balance changes and balanced brawlers being introduced into the game, please.